This video will do some examples, and well, one example per video. Uh, this video will do an example of finding uh, some solution to a uh, motion problem using the principles of energy. And this particular video will compare to our previous uh, methods of solving problems. So we have a 10 kilogram object. It's on an inclined plane. It, the plane is frictionless. The angle of the plane is 62 degrees up from the horizontal and the object 1.4 meters from the bottom of the plane. And the question is, just the instant it's going to be released from rest, just the instant before it reaches the bottom, what is the velocity or the speed uh, going straight down the plane? What's the speed? Then using the methods of chapter 4, Newton's Laws, we would find the acceleration using F equals MA, and then we'd use one of the four kinematic equations to calculate the speed. So let's see what we have here. For the force, we have the weight straight down towards the center of the Earth. That's not a useful number for us. We need the weight component that's parallel to the plane. In this problem, since friction is not uh, a factor, we do not need the weight that's perpendicular to the plane because we do not need to know the normal force. We're interested in the force in the direction of motion that is the uh, component of the weight that is down the plane. So this uh, weight down the plane, mg, 10 kilograms times 9.8 is the weight. The sine of 62 degrees is appropriate. The angle at the top of this triangle is always the same as the angle of the ramp. Opposite side, we need the sine function. So we have 86.5 newtons as the component of mg going down the plane. That's our force. We have 10 kilograms of inertia. So we divide and we find the acceleration 8.65 meters per second squared. We might ask, is that somewhat of a reasonable number? Well, it's less than 9.8. So yes, in that sense, it's reasonable. Uh, if we were free falling, going straight down, we'd have 9.8 meters per second squared. And we've got a little bit less than that. So choosing equation four, uh, I do so because I do not know the time to get down to the bottom of the plane. We want to know this uh, speed at the bottom. The initial speed was zero when we're released. We'd use two times the acceleration and working with the positive direction going down the plane. 1.4 meters of travel, start the position at zero. You should calculate this on your own. I came up with 4.92 meters per second at the bottom. Now, using the methods of chapter seven, of conservation of energy, we have a supply of energy at the start kinetic plus potential. We lose energy due to non-conservative forces, friction. In this case, that's going to be zero. And we have an ending supply of energy, kinetic plus potential energy at the bottom of the ramp. So we start from rest, so the kinetic energy initially will be zero. We will have potential energy in the form of gravitational potential energy that we calculate with mgh, the mass, g, 9.8, and I've calculated here H, 1.236, using 1.4 meters as the hypotenuse of the triangle. And then sine of 62 degrees gives us this opposite side, gives us H, 1.236. That's 121.13 joules. That is the only uh, term that's non-zero on the left side. We started from rest. The kinetic energy is zero. We're on a frictionless surface, so the work of friction is zero. On the right side, the potential energy is now zero at the bottom of the ramp because we're down where h is equal to zero. So we have one half mv squared. Notice that you could cancel off the m's here and uh, simplify the calculation a little bit. But uh, go ahead and do, leaving the m in here allows us to calculate joules. And just for knowledge of uh, what typical joule numbers are, I left that in there. So we have the left side 121.13 equals one half times the mass of 10 times v squared. Multiply by two on both sides, divide by 10 on both sides, take a square root. 4.92, does that sound familiar in meters per second? It's identical to what we have up here. In this situation, you can solve the problem either using Newton's law, F equals ma, and our kinematic equations, or use the energy concept. The kinematic equation works because the acceleration is constant. When we're on this straight plane, the acceleration is always the same. 
So we're allowed to use the kinematic equations. So that's a, a sample problem, a box going down a frictionless plane.